Uh, this has been one of the most difficult decisions I've had to make as a police chief. Uh, I can tell you that this was not without a lot of uh, personal, personal uh, determination and heartache. Uh, it certainly has been a thorough and exhaustive investigation. And uh, incident to that invest investigation today, I removed Chief Pridgen and Deputy Keyes from our executive staff and return them to their highest civil service rank, that of police captain. That's considered an administrative reassignment and uh, discipline for policy violations are completely separate matters. Secondly, upon meeting with both officers and disciplinary hearings that happened this evening, I made two additional decisions. Regarding Abdul Pridgen, I recommended to the Civil Service Commission that he returned to the police department at the rank of sergeant. It's two ranks below captain. In the case of Vance Keys, I issued him a three-day suspension without pay. Now the obvious question that you'll want to know is why. So as you know, this investigation began after extremely confidential information regarding personnel files and other information were downloaded relating to arrests that occurred in December 2016. We know that those files were downloaded on January 18, 2017 to an external storage device plugged into Chief Pridgen's computer. We have video and security evidence that he and Keyes were in Pridgen's office at the time. And eventually, both officers confirmed those facts. Next, we know that the exact same data, all files originating from Pridgen's computer located in his office was uploaded by someone outside of this police department. The investigation was thorough and exhaustive and I'd like to thank the internal affairs staff for their commitment to truth and their dedication to due process. So some conclusions have been reached here and this is what we know. Both of these men knew more than they disclosed to investigators. It's a rule that officers must answer all questions candidly in an IED investigation. So basically, they're supposed to tell us everything they know and provide all documents, disk, and evidence to us. That's without question, and that did not happen. We are certain that only one person, Abdul Pridgen, downloaded the confidential information from a restricted internet site and digital evidence proves that the exact same set of files were uploaded to a public website. Both of these men were in a chain of command that oversees the internal affairs section, and they had a duty, a unique duty, to protect that information. There are other facts in the materials that we'll provide, but the three I cited are essential for the public to understand. So ladies and gentlemen, these are serious matters, we know, and I can tell you that it's been a difficult decision again regarding two men that I trusted, I called colleagues, and I called friends. But every Fort Worth police officer has an obligation to be truthful and trustworthy. Put simply, there's no such thing as a half-truth in a police investigation. <coughs> Someone once said, there's no right way to do a wrong thing. I think that applies here. The public deserves the highest set of expectations from every police officer in this department. That includes patrol officers up to the chief's office. It's particularly important for our leadership team, and they had a responsibility to safeguard and protect information involving citizens and police officers. It was their duty. All of us want to improve the relationships we have in the community. We're dedicated to us, and the best way to do that is to start with the truth. We have law and order, and you must follow rules and protocols in this police department. So I'll thank you for listening, and I'll take a question or two here. Plus, Ryan. January that this week would be prosecuted. Uh, will it be prosecuted? And if not, why not, even though there's enough to... Uh, no issue with the motion. Sure. The uh, disciplinary action here is taken as a result of an administrative investigation. Uh, we 
we have enough discipline for the administrative investigation, but I will not rule out the fact that something else may happen later on. Uh, I can tell you that for purposes of our internal investigation, that this is concluded.